I happened upon a question this morning, and the guy was asking, he has a, a ratio of uh, days in the field to days off. He's away for 19 days, so 18 of those days would be in the field, one day would be travel day, and then he earns four days off. And I've entered them all, all the four different options that he has here. So basically, uh, it's the days away minus one day equals the days in the field, and then uh, he's, he's given this, uh, this amount of days off. So what we're trying to do is try and figure out in between those two days, or two numbers of days, how many days he gets off. So first of all, I created a, a ratio, and I'm going, so just to see what the actual ratio was, I, I calculated uh, the days, uh, days in the field divided by um, the days off, and you get 4.5 for the first, and the longer you stay in the field, the more you get, uh, the more days you get off. So I'm just going to minus a few zeros here. All right, so the best way to handle this is to make a chart. So what we're going to do is we're going to select all our data here. We're going to go to insert on the menu bar. And we're going to uh, recommend charts and see what they come up with. And I would really like to have um, a line chart just for the fact that I will be able to calculate the days in between there. So I'm going to say OK. And so here is um, our days in the field minus the days. And so, so you can figure out now in between, um, so in between the 19 and the 26, you could, you could go up here and figure out exactly how many days you get off. So you, it looks like you'd get about 23 days off or 24. So you can actually even go and it'll tell you what it is. So if you, you go up, you'll be able to calculate any time off in between there. So you could, of course, change the title to Days in the Field. So that's my answer to the question that was posed. And I think that this uh, chart would be the best way to answer this question. So that's how you calculate Days in the Field relative to uh, Days Off. Please subscribe.